What is going on everybody? Welcome to McQuaid Outdoors. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out and I really appreciate it. So for today, we are going to do a review on the Boat HD 12 footer. If you don't know who I am, my name is John and I fish and film on my paddle boards in the lakes, the bays, the rivers, the ocean, anywhere I can get them. So uh, I've been fishing on this one now for about a year. And uh, if you don't know, I also fish on a boat Rackham. So I'll leave the review to the boat Rackham right up here. But today we're gonna go over the boat HD. So let's get into it. All right, guys, this is the boat HD 12 footer bug slinger edition. That means it is built for fishing. Now, the only difference between the regular boards and the fishing boards which are the bug slinger edition, is that they've got this hole in the board here and over here, and they have these deck straps. Beyond that, they're all the same, so you do not have to have a bug slinger edition to fish off your paddle board or have a good time. So we're gonna start with a couple of things that I really like about this board. Uh, it starts all the way up at the front. There's a nice pop-up handle. They don't have the standard hole in handle, but for the center of the board, they have that handle that goes inside. It's really easy to carry, I really like it. Boat puts this deck padding on here. It's kind of like sea deck. It's a foam or EVA foam decking. And it runs from all the way here, all the way back. So all the way back, all the way back here. I really like the padding on these boards. Um, it's really comfortable on your feet. I still do wear shoes when I'm fishing all day, but if you're just out for a paddle, you don't need to wear shoes and the deck is really comfortable. It's really grippy. Uh, this board does get wet if you're out in the waves. So it's really nice to have that good stable comfortable deck to stand on. Now when they put all the padding back here, it's really nice because you can see the way that I put my rods. So this is the way that I set the board up right here every day that I go fishing. Um, I put my rods back here on this back bungee. And so it's nice to have the padding on the deck because it protects my reels from hitting the fiberglass or gator shell that they call it on this board. So it doesn't scratch my reels, it doesn't scratch the board. Um, it's just a good spot to put them. So what you'll see as I run a 10 foot anchor pole on one side and I run my rods on the other. So when I'm paddling in the beginning of the day, it really doesn't leave me a whole lot of room. I've got to put a foot here and here or sometimes on the outside, but I've still got room to walk up and down the deck and it keeps the rods out of the way. And this is just for my initial paddle. Once I'm out there fishing, I take one of the rods and I use them and I keep another rod on the deck. Sometimes I'll push it forward, sometimes I'll push it backwards to keep it out of the way. And the anchor pole is going to be in this hole or the hole in the back so things really open up once you're at your fishing spot um, i should say this board i believe is good for your moderate distance paddling so an example the boat rackham i do eight to ten miles a day round trip on this board i like to keep it to about five miles round trip um, although it is pretty streamlined it does have the uh that v-shaped keel hull on the front it, um, it's still just not, it's still set up kind of like surfboard. Um, and so it's just not as much of a long distance paddler as it is an overall everything. Um, one key feature that Boat does, they've got, unlike the Rackham, is this deck is flush, but there is an, a recessed section right here. So it does help when any waves come over the board, water kind of flushes down and pushes out, helps out a lot. Next on the list that I really, really like is they have the paddle sheath holder in the front. So if you've ever been paddle boarding and you're fishing or trying to do anything, you don't know where to put your paddle, you put it on the board and it just kind of falls off, disappears. Boat has a paddle sheath up front and it just slides in. You can kind of push it each way and it'll stay there. You can flip the paddle around to get it to go up higher. It sticks up higher, you can still push it around really easily. That is so nice when you're out fishing all day and you get to a spot that maybe you don't want to anchor down, you just want to make a couple casts, you just put the paddle in, push it to one side to get out of your way and you can make your cast. It's awesome. So for gear to hold on this board, since it's not like a boat, you don't have gear storage, not like a kayak, there's no little cubby holes. I use this guy, I've put it in other reviews for paddle boards. Um, not gonna really go in too much into it, but it's just a, a waterproof case. It's got a buckle section on front that's really easy to put my keys and GoPro batteries and it's got gear storage inside. It's really, really nice. Next up, because this is the Bug Slinger Edition, it does have these deck straps. I don't use them too often because I end up using the bungees more often than not. Um, but they are nice every once in a while when I, if I'm gonna be pushing through surf and I don't wanna have just my rods and the bungees, I'll actually 
strap them down with these straps and that is the most secure place you could have your gear ever. It does keep it right in the center of the deck which is kind of a, not the best spot in the world but you know that if anything happens, if you fall off the board, your gear is going to be anchored in these straps and that is really, really nice. Um, next things that I do like, they have these gear hook mounts. So these are supposed to be for attachments that boat sells. Um, they have a rack system that goes in here. They have a cooler system that comes in. Uh, but I use it for my own coolers and my own stuff. I will actually anchor down if I'm going to do um, like a long day. I'll bring up a little tiny cooler and I can anchor it down here or I'll put it way back here and anchor it down to these big sturdy anchor points. These are not like your inflatable ones where they're just kind of glued on. These are built into the board and they are really, really sturdy. If I had strong fingers, I'd be able to lift the board up with them. Now, going into the gator shell material because this board is made what they call gator shell. It's supposed to be X amount of times stronger than fiberglass. I have found that that's probably true. I fish my boards really hard. I have dropped them on the rocks. I have literally surfed them into the beach and I have had no chips or cracks in these boards. Now I do put a little protective layer on these boards. I've got a protective layer right here on both sides and that's for when I'm paddling. If that way if the paddle hits the board, it doesn't mess anything up, but otherwise I have done nothing special on these boards. I don't have keel guards. I don't have extra protection. I do have some foam padding up front. That's just for my anchor pole so it doesn't scratch it up, but really it's not doing anything. These things are pretty tough as nails. So that is awesome. If you want a board that's gonna last you, make sure you check out a gator shell board from Boat. Now, it also is really nice if I'm out hanging out with my friends at the beach or the sandbar or whatever, you're just kind of floating around. Boat has a, we'll call this a gear storage up front, but it is the perfect little cup holder. If you look on the inside, it's got a little serrated edge if you need to, if you need to open a beverage. And uh, it's just really easy. I would not actually put something important in here, like your keys, unless they can get wet. If your product can get wet, it's not a big deal. You can shove it in here, uh, fishing license, stuff like that. It screws down flush really nice little addition and you're not going to see that on basically any other paddle board and if they do have something it's going to be something that sticks up off the deck and it kind of gets in the way so they really thought that one out it's really a smooth seamless deck that i really like all right let's go into the paddle that comes with the board so you can see this is the matching paddle bug slinger it's got a carbon fiber shaft and it's got a fiberglass head on it padded comfortable handle. This paddle is really good. I'm going to put it on the ground and show you guys about how long I go. It's probably going to go out of the camera reach. So basically what I do is I reach up as far as I can go and I like my paddle to go about there. I do pretty long deep strokes and or I use my paddle to almost as a pulling item. So when I'm in shallow water I'll use this to push me through instead of trying to paddle because it's too shallow. So really really good sturdy paddle overall. The paddle shaft is a little bit thicker than your normal one. So I found that out when I was trying to just replace a handle or do something on a, on a separate paddle they had. Found out that their shafts are a little bit thicker, which is nice. It gives you a good steady grip, which is really nice when you're out paddling on a long day or it's windy. Um, so just really cool. It's cool that they put like, the design on there. I dig that. So really nice paddle that comes with the board. The board comes with a single fin in the back it's perfect. You do not need to run a quad fin or extra whatever. You get that single fin in the back by itself. That's all you need. Overall, if you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comment section below. I'd love to answer them for you guys. Um, this board is absolutely fantastic for fishing, for all day paddling, um, hanging out with friends. I've put two people on the board before and paddled around and it's totally fine. Um, as long as, you know, I would say the Rackham is if you're gonna be doing really long paddles, you might wanna step up to that one, or if you're gonna fish in really, really rough water because the Rackham has a more dry deck. Otherwise, this board's a little bit cheaper than the Rackham. It's got all the features you need, and uh, it's just a really, really good board overall. So, thanks for watching. Like I said, leave a comment below if you've got any questions, and I will catch you guys back out on the water. GoPro, stop